Hey y'all, what's happening? Well, uh, I'm testing out these uh, bone conduction Bluetooth earphones. It's a headset. And, uh, you know, I was pretty skeptical about these things before I tried them out. It took me a little while to get used to them. You know, I got them out of the box. I got them paired up to my phone, which was really simple and fast but I fumbled with them quite a bit to get them um, placed the right, in the right place because you're not supposed to put them in your ears. Um, if, you, if you see the lady on the box, the lady on the box, it looks like they're not in her ears, but like on, like near them, almost like where, where I have mine now. I don't know if you can see that. I'll get you some close-up shots and, and whatnot, but I thought it would be easy to do this in the car. One of the main reasons why I'm doing it in the car is because this is one of the places that I think um, a device like this is really, really useful because I can still hear my surroundings, but I can also hear music and you really can hear the music and it sounds decent. It's not gonna sound as good as in-ear earbuds or over-the-ear uh, headset, anything like that, right? But I'm impressed. So like I said, it took me a while to find the right placement. I kept wanting to put them like in my ear, but, and I'll show you how to do this, but the manual says they're to go on your cheekbone and my cheeks are like right here. So there's no way they're gonna fit that far. But basically what they're saying is, don't put them in your ear. Now I've uh, placed them like on my ear, on the outside of my ear here um, but that's about the closest I've put them and they seem to work really really well that way you can actually hear the music that's one of the things I'm really surprised by now I will say after wearing them for a while they're not real comfortable uh, I don't know if it's the way I have them seated on my ear or not but they're just, they're not as comfortable as I would like them to be after wearing them for a while. I find myself having to readjust them quite a bit. Um, but yeah, let's get into some more details. I just wanted to kind of open up and give you my thoughts right away, but let's get some close-up shots for you and we'll talk a little bit more about the detail. So there's a lot to like about these bone conduction headphones. They're really flexible, not really sure why you would need to stretch them like this, but you can do it without breaking them. On the side here, you have a multi-function button to pause and play and to answer and disconnect calls. And I found the quality of the calls to be quite good. Nobody can seem to tell that I'm talking on Bluetooth bone conduction headphones. Now here's the micro USB port for charging, and you get about four hours in between charges. And I consider that to be short battery life, so it's one of the things I wish was better about these. I have been using these in the office and find myself having to recharge them during the day. You have an LED indicator light and volume buttons that double as next song, prior song selectors, and a power button that you can also use to pause and play. There's the microphone, and the speaker covers feel like a soft rubber material, which is pretty comfortable. But as I mentioned in the opening, the headphones do get uncomfortable around my ears after wearing them for a while. So far, it hasn't been enough to keep me from using them every day, and I have been using these every day since I got them out of the box. Now, pairing these to your device is super simple. When you first power on, you'll hear the lady say, pairing, and the LED will flash blue and red. You can also put it in pairing mode when you power it on by holding down the power button for five seconds. Then just go over to your device, find the Bluetooth signal, and booyah, you're connected. Can't you go? Well, here you go again, messing around with all them gadgets. What you messing with now? Oh, these are just some Bluetooth bone conduction headphones. Mm -hmm. Uh, what, what you say that what? Bone conduction headphones, Grandpa. That's what I thought you said. Now, you mean to tell me 
that conducting through your bones now? Nah, it's just sound waves vibrating mm -hmm. through your bone instead of your eardrum. Oh, okay. It's just vibrating my bones, huh? That's <laughs> special. Yeah, that's all. See, that's what I'm talking about, boy. You young bucks don't know nothing. Act like you don't know nothing at all. I don't want nothing vibrating my bones and shaking stuff loose. I'm old. It's not shaking nothing, Grandpa. Let me finish, boy. Now, can I play my Bobby Blue Bland and my Junior Parker records on it? You won't be able to play the records, Grandpa, mm -hmm. but you can find pretty much any music on your smartphone. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe I will try them out sometime. Yeah, you should. I gotta go. I got some pinto beans on in the kitchen there, and don't nobody like burnt beans. I'll talk to you later. All right, Grandpa G.I., I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Okay, so these headphones are for people that like to multitask and for those that want to listen to music or podcasts or whatever while still keeping your ears free to hear your surroundings. That's what these are for. Like I said, sound quality is good, but it won't be on the same level that those that go in your ears or over your ears will be. But what I usually do is I'll leave one earbud in and leave one ear free. Well, these eliminate the need to even do that. I'm still getting stereo sound, but both ears are free. I've even held conversations with people with these on, and it's just like having music going in the background. But again, while I am using these every day now, there are a few things that can make these things so much better. Longer battery life, a more comfortable fit with prolonged use, and better sound quality of music specifically. All right, this is not goodbye, it's only see you later. Watch some more of my videos, I'd appreciate it. Thank you for watching this one. Be good to somebody and be good to yourself. Later.